Hare Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Elushai, Ba'ashem Rachak Kodash, the minus of the apostles and others that were most don't grow well and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be unto you all for who like that to push out this word of all truth and sincerity to all you Akimists and Shalom. So, this is a quick read to one of the lesson I've been early entitled, You Shall Be a Spoil, referring to all these heathen nations, you know, going into slavery under us. You know, because what happens is that Esau Edom is still messing with the audio. And as a matter of fact, you got tons of distractions if you guys will say that and do. All right, when you, when, you, when you press start, when you press record, all you got is distraction this, distraction that, and the third. But nevertheless, we're going to get it out. Lord wills, that'll fine. But what I was going into these heathen nations being a spoil unto us, and you got these bugger Israelites. I mentioned these bugger Israelites out here, like Sikari and, uh, and, uh, ISCBK, what they do on, on, on their camp videos is just freaking, you know, yell, yell at Esau and have them bow down and kiss their damn shoes. All right, now you got Deacon Akab being carnal minded and uh, slapping the hell out of you for no damn reason. All right, that, that's literally off, man. All right, that's literally off to see, you know, Israelite, no as Israelite in this truth, in the land of the captivity, beat down an Edomite. All right, the hell? Just because he's losing his power doesn't mean that you get to freaking uh, do that to him. No. All right? That, that's literally off. Because we're not in our rest. This ain't the kingdom of heaven. All right? That's literally off to freaking beat down an Edomite in his own in his own, in his his own own kingdom. You know? And a precept to that would be in the book of Micah, the second chapter, verse 10. All right? That's literally unwise, man. All right? Because here it is. You already got Esau here and whatnot. They're trying to freaking... You know, target us, and, and that's gonna lead to persecution very soon, which is prophecy. But they're already, you know, tar you know, blaming, blaming, blaming us for, for for many deaths. All right, by these unruly guys and whatnot, which really they 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 aren't in this truth, but they want to freaking point, it, you know, link them to the Hebrews like they, you know, they 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 in this truth, but then you got guys that actually are, and they're doing this stuff. You know, they 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 they, they, they don't they don't um. Uh, uh, What's that one? They don't they don't discriminate between between groups, Israelite groups, all right? They they just call us Hebrew Israelites in general. So, you know, there's actual sincere Akim that's gonna get called out, you know, for something Deacon Akad does, man. Alright, this is the book of Micah, the second chapter, verse ten and it reads, Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. Our right, America is not the land of our rest. Alright, this place is our, our hellhole, you know, our captivity. So beat down Edomite is off, man. Because it is polluted, and that's by way of all these philosophies, because these philosophies, you know, lead you to a world of condemnation, in other words. It should destroy you, even with the sword destruction, you know? All right? So ultimately, we're going to have we're gonna have slaves, and we're going we're gonna to beat down Edomites and whatnot in the kingdom of heaven, not right now. You know? One of the Akin told me that, too. You know, you, just because he's falling off in power, doesn't mean that, that you can't hold the door for him. So, uh, what I wanted to get was the book of Revelation, the, the, the 19th chapter, verse 11, because this is talking about Yahweh Shai, when he cracks on the sky, what's going to happen is that he's going to subdue all nations and establish the kingdom in righteousness. And that's where you read about that war in heaven, in Daniel, the 12th chapter, verse 1. You know, and, and by this time, you know, when he, de when he delivers the elect and brings it back to our land, all, all, you, all you remnants of out of all the heathen nations, you guys will be the first within the slavery. So verse 11, it says, And I saw heaven opened, and behold, the white horse, which that white horse represents a chariot. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And I see how was shy. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. Or you have to realize, man, you have to realize that, to say, that, that, that the judgment of the Lord, Yahweh, or Yahweh shy, is righteous. So to say that, we all wish I sent back here to do it. It, it, it is wrong and and, and 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 terrible. It's off, man. All right, you're off. Because it, again, it's righteous. So what's this right here? And in righteousness, he does the judge and make war. Because he's not going to establish a kingdom in righteousness. You know, be be, be, be being co-joined co-joined with, with with the damn heathen empire. All right. It's prophecy that all these heathen nations shall shall shall, shall be subdued. All right, and, and to say that there's going to be a China still in power, that's ridiculous, man. All right, this ain't going to be like the times of King Solomon, where, where yeah, 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 heathen kings serving us. No, you guys will all be in slavery. You guys will lose your ranks. 
right? So you 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 talk banking family or elites, you damn elites. You guys wanna lose your you guys will lose your rank by the time y'all wish I cracks down this guy. And the rest of you either nations that, that that have some sort of rank and authority. So we'll go ahead and say his eyes was a flame of fire and then his head with many crowns. Yeah, because he's coming here to strip away all your guys' power. Alright? So so Russia, alright, Europe, primarily Amer America, China, Australia, the UK, um, New Zealand. You know, all of Africa, with you know, all those countries in Africa, all right, middle, the Middle East, Middle East, all you guys will go into captivity. All right, so um, even even Eve will go into captivity, meaning meaning that 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 she that that she'll have no authority over herself, man. All right, so she won't she won't freaking talk bad to the Israelite man, you know, she won't do do this and then a third because she's practically gonna be our our slave if you will, man. You know, so. And on this says one many crowns, and he had the name written that new man knew by himself. And he was clothed with the vesture dipped in blood, and his name was called the Word of God. And that's pursuant to the book of, you know, John the Fresh, other verse 1. Alright, so by then, that will be the only time we will, when we'll actually have slaves. Right now, we won't. Alright, but now, the, the, the whole premise of the lesson was just going into how the heathen nations will go into, cap, will go into captivity, will be a spoil unto us. And that's in the book of Zechariah, the second chapter, verse 8. You know, so bear with me, I can trying to find it. You know, that, that's what bugs it, man. Esau eat them. You know, always messing with the freaking dead technology. I thought this is technology, man. So, it is bound to be whack. So this is the book of Zechariah, the second chapter, verse 8. And it reads, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations, which spoiled you. And that word spoiled, the modern definition of it would be, you know, you've been spoiled, all right? Like a spoiled bread, meaning you take things for granted. All right, but in, but in this case, it's an archaic term, which that word archaic, archaic means ancient, all right? So it's, it's, it's ancient definition means uh, um, robbed, all right? To rob, to take goods. So the nations which spoiled you, meaning that the nations which robbed us, all right? Because each of the nation had, had a part in beating us down, all right? All right, and that's by way of the, the in the book of Judges. All right, we have we have the the, the the four main empires rule, which we are an extension of the of the fourth beast, which is that little horn America. But all these nations had a had a part in beating us down. You know, you had King Eglon, the damn Moabite king, who oppressed us, you know, for a certain amount of years. You know, so to say that only Esau did us wrong, and he's the only one went to captivity. That's off. All you nations are going into captivity. And it's going to be a brutal captivity for a thousand slow years. And it's going to be worse for the nation of Edom. All right, but going on to Zechariah, the second chapter, it goes on to say, For he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. Yeah, man, the he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. And that apple of his eye, it mean, basically means something precious to your sight, which the, 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 what's precious to the Lord's eyes is the nation of Israel, because he has a love for us, man. All right, he shows a certain nation out of all peoples all right to, to to be his glory to be his inheritance that's the nation of israel and a precept to that would be in the book of romans the ninth chapter verse 31 where that's echo, that's echoing malachi the first chapter verse 2 if i'm not mistaken but going on book of romans damn it bear with me i can All right, the, the, the ninth chapter, verse 13, it reads. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. All right, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. And what came out of the, the, the loins of Jacob? The 12 sons, all right, the 12 tribes, and that's us, you know? So, you know, uh, Verse 9, Zechariah the second chapter says, For behold, I will shake mine hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. And who were their servants? Us, man. We guys, we guys are your servants. And, and that was back then by way of hardcore bondage, because that word servant basically is basically means slave. All right, so I'm the word slave. So we, we were your slaves back in hardcore bondage. And even now we're still your slaves, because we're, we're not sovereign. That's lucky about that. Another distraction, as always. What was going into was that we we guys we we, we were slaves back in hardcore slavery, 
And as a matter of fact, we're still as a slave because we're not sovereign. As a matter of fact, when you want to do a trade or deal, you always got to sign something, all right? A contract. Because we're voluntary slaves by way of that paper, man. So that's how we guys are, that's how we got, that's how we're, we're your servants, man. You know, and I appreciate it to, the, to, prove that, to prove that, as well as in the book of Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter, which is a curse placed upon us, and we're still under the curses. All right? So, so, so the freaking, you know, have, have a damn Edomite freaking bow down. That's off, man. That's literally off. All right, because we're still under the curses. Yeah, I wish I didn't come back to deliver us yet. We're not in the we're not in the kingdom of heaven. All right, but that's all going we're getting ready to happen very soon. All right, that's why we just say, you know, you know, he that he that endures until the end, the same shall be saved. You know, we all gotta to suffer patiently. That's what it means by endure. All right, but this is the book of Deuteronomy, the twentieth chapter, verse forty-eight, and it reads, "Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, and who are enemies? The nation of Edom." Why? Because the Esau has a perpetual hatred upon us, and that's pursuant to the book of Ezekiel, the 35th chapter, verse 5. So it wasn't to say, in hunger, it's like it, therefore shall thus earth thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And, and Southern Kingdom, or our people, the Southern Kingdom, are the only people to actually have an actual yoke of iron upon them. Or, yeah, no, Elam, yeah, no, Elamites with a yoke of iron. He had no Edomites with the yoke of iron. He had no Japhethites with the yoke of iron. Why? Because none of you guys went through the BS we had to go through, man. You know? And, and keep in mind, this all for the controversy of Zion. So all you damn heathen nations are going to freaking suffer the worst tell you guys will ever feel, man. All right? Worse than, than what we had to go through. And and, and and you better listen up, Esau. Because, man, you, you guys have a, have a treat coming in. All right? And it won't be pleasant. It won't be pleasant. So, Isaiah the thirty third chapter, Isaiah thirty three verse nine, it reads, "Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou was not spoiled." And that's Esau hit him, man. Or he did spoil, man, and, and he wasn't a spoil. And he was treacherously. He's only dealt treacherously with us. All right, and that was by way of um, the 1400s, the 1500s, the 1600s, the 1700s, the 1800s, the 1900s, even right now here and there. All right, and and, and even now is getting very, getting, you know, a very, it's like um, coming real soon, so like about my story, and coming real soon by way of Jacob's trouble, you're gonna have Esau, you know, you know, um, get, get, get getting on you, Jake, man. And one of the acting from the GMS Cleveland camp even said, uh. uh if you look, if you look at Buttercup Brown, uh, roughly paraphrasing right there, Esau's gonna go looking for you, man. All right, because e e Esau's the only one dealing treacherously with us, and they dealt not treacherously with the exactly. All right, because we're a peaceful people. When have we ever dealt treacherously with anybody? Uh, e you know, e to to Esau when? Never, man. All right, never. All right, those those, those, those riots he had, you know, two years ago, those, that was that wasn't treacherous. All right, we never committed genocide against Esau. All right, we never did anything against Esau, man. You know, you, you just live under him, under his rule. All right, as a matter of fact, we never dealt treacherously with any other heathen nation. All right, uh, when, when we were when we were kicking you, you damn Canaanites, Hittites, Havites, Jebusites, Amorites, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Basically, you you damn Amites from the land of Canaan. It was because you guys were defiling the land, and, and that was commanded of us to kick you guys out. All right, because you guys have followed the land, you know. So that that wasn't dealing treacherously. That was just a job. We were basically house cleaning. All right, house cleaning our land. All right, and we're peaceful people, man. So we never dealt treacherously with anybody, but we will now. All right, because when we go, when, when we get those spiritual bodies, we're gonna, we're gonna, our, our memories are gonna be restored. All the memories from each single past life, it's gonna be restored. So we're gonna remember all the horrendous atrocities you guys have done to our people, man. Slacky about that. My feet was cut. What I was going into was that we're going to remember every single thing going back, ranging from thousands of years ago. And those same things we're going to do double unto you. And that was, and, that, and that's where in the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. But going on, it says, when thou shalt see the spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. See? So obviously we're going to, we're going to, we're going to do unto, uh, unto you to, according to the things you guys have done to us. That's in the book of Obadiah. All right, the the 
first chapter if I can get that out. You know, low world is just as edifying. Alright, and it reads verse. Alright, Obadiah. One verse. Slack Yakim. Alright, verse 15, and it reads, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. Alright, all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. See? So everything you guys have done, we're going to do to you guys. You guys, you guys, you guys whipped us and, and made us to build your kingdom from the ground up. Or yeah, southern kingdom build your capital and white house, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to do the same thing to you guys. But you guys will build freaking palaces, you know, uh, hundreds of feet high up in the air, man. All right, and th and there will be there will be no scaffolding for you guys. All right, you guys will have to all manage that yourselves, and we're not gonna help you, damn guys, you, you damn crackers, man. So as thou was done, it shall be done to thee, and thy reward shall return upon thine own head. And you and you had Esau working us out in the fields. Are right, you still got Issachar, you know, working out in the fields, only laboring for 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 a small wage? We're going to do the same thing to you guys. You, you, you guys won't be house ringos. Or like you had house ringos. You, you won't be house ringos. Or you guys are going to be strictly working out in the freaking fields. And and if any, any of you dare cross that perimeter, man, best believe that you guys will catch catch hell for that. And we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what we're going to do to you damn crackers. Why? Because as people say, no eye nor nor ear hath seen or heard what, what the wise prepared for, for, for us. You know? So when those spiritual bodies and, and that mentality were going to happen against you, man, no one knows. Our own, the only thing we could do is just imagine. That's what you're saying, meditate on terror, right? No, but, but lastly, I want to get out the book of Revelation, so like the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter. All right, Isaiah, the 14th chapter, verse 2. I'm going to end it off there. I'm going to start at verse 1, actually. And it reads, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will you choose Israel? All right, with that plantation Christianity, you have all these damn, you know, uh, 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 clowns out here saying that the Lord loves all, lo lo loves all nations. That's not true. All right, because it says right here, and will yet choose Israel. All right, there ain't no such thing as a spiritual Israel. All right, this is a physical bloodline. Although you got Jake looking like like the heathen nations, but it all, all goes back to that spirit, you know. So. And we'll get choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers, and those strangers ain't talking about the heathen nations. Alright, so to say that the Egyptians will, will be those strangers being joined to us, that's not true. Alright, because none of you heathen nations will, will, will partake in the promises. Alright, now you heathen nations will, 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 will rejoice and, 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 and uh, what's that one word? You know, be, 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 be pleased living in the kingdom of heaven. Why? Because everything's going to be restored to its former glory, to its natural state. Everything will be 100% organic, natural. It won't be synth synth synthetic. It won't be uh, man-made. It's going to be pure. All right, but you guys won't partake in the promises that was that was promised that, that was promised to the to the children of Israel. All right, you can't you can't have a kingdom without subjects. So you guys won't have slaves. You guys will be the slaves. So, and the strangers and those strangers are talking about us. Why? Because we lost our identity and now we're coming back to um we're, we received. Our, our identity and our coming back to our heritage. So that's really t talking about us. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over the oppressors. See? So, so we're, we're going to rule over you guys, man. Right, we're going we're, we're, we're to confine you, meaning we're going to chain you up. And we're gonna, we're gonna, man. Basically, you guys will go into slavery. You know, all right. You guys will be a good to us. We're gonna spoil you guys, because that word, because because um, that word spoil basically means to take goods. And what is a good? All right, a woman is a good. Riches are good. Having power is good. Having slaves is a good. Like the other apostle Gabar said, you know, uh, true living is when you have multiple women. All right, have power, have riches, have slaves. All right, that keyword slaves. So you guys are gonna be our slaves, man. But with that being said, this video was edifying. You know, Lord, will we continue to push? All right, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Elshai, Ba'ashim Rachakodash.
the bonus of the apostles and others at the millstone who are well and thought us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings, fancy wolf, who liked that to push not this word of thought, truth, and sincerity to all you are, commence a shalom. A baba ba, DTA soon, Lord will allow, and shalom.